and give you guys advisory services. I think I deserve some accolades. Hi, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Real Estate with Confidence. If you missed my previous episodes, why would you even miss my previous episodes? I work so hard to put all these videos together and give you guys advisory services. I think I deserve some accolades. watch my episodes okay if you missed them click the link below okay so i want to thank you guys so much for your for your comments for your mails thanks for watching oh my god the love has been overwhelming you guys are super duper amazing so i got a mail from uh, a viewer asking a partic particular question hello confidence i really love what you're doing thanks a lot for this god bless you I bought a land with a survey and power of attorney as the title. I have been watching your series and I noticed you haven't spoken about the power of attorney. I just need to be sure I did not make the wrong decision. Hmm. Okay, let me let me just make this clear. A power of attorney is not is not a good title. A power of attorney is a written document given by um, party A to party B to carry out um, a certain function within a specified period of time. Let's say party A is Mr. Kayade and party B is Mr. Williams. Party B could actually be a, a solicitor, a realtor, an agent, and party A is the owner of the property. So party A gives party B, Mr. Kayade gives Mr. Williams, the power of attorney to handle the property that is could buy, sell, lease, manage, you know, just gives him the, the right to do some certain things for the property, handle transactions and all. Yeah, so within a, a period of time, it could be like for six months, but usually one year. Yeah, and it could be renewed. A power of attorney is a very, very important document. And at the same time, it could be pretty dangerous. Why, 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 why do I think so? Why do I say so? It's because in a power of attorney, sometimes, most times, the amount is not stated in the power of attorney, the document. The um, stipulated time is not also stated. So the holder of the power of attorney could sell those properties at a ridiculous price, you know, and then he could probably sell it to multiple people. Like lots of fraudulent activities are carried out with the power of attorney. If you as a person, you don't go through it well, like you don't read in, be in between the lines or you give it to your lawyer to actually go through. And don't forget, it's not a title. Uh, a power of attorney should come with a deed of assignment, a C of O, gazette, you know, good titles, a government consent. No one should just give it power of attorney and tell you that's a title. What's that? But for you who have um, already gone ahead to make payment, I just think you should look through the power of attorney and look at the date, yeah? And um, try your best possible to get in touch with the owner. Then also to those who don't make, so you don't make the same mistake, um, before you make payments, also contact the owner because someone with the power of attorney has been authorized to probably collect money from um, Party B, or sorry, Party C. <laughs> party C is the, is the buyer, so he has been authorized to collect money. So, I mean, you, sh you definitely, before you give your money to anybody, you have to be sure of who you're giving your money to, right? Even if he shows you a document containing, saying he has power of attorney to, to transact business with you, you should confirm that. Look at the date, call, the owner of the land to be sure you have to pay such amount of money to that person and also make sure that power attorney is 
registered. That is so important. It has to be registered in the court of jurisdiction. You just, I mean, if anybody brings to you a pub attorney that is not registered, run. Run. There are a lot of fraudulent activities being done with pub attorney. I've had lots of cases. So please don't fall into the trap. And to you who have already made payments, you bought the land already. Please look through that. And if all these things are missing, then I think something should be taken. Legal action should be taken against that person. Okay. I hope you've learned something today. And if you have, which I believe you have, please don't forget to like, give me a big thumbs up, please. Comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, like right now. Thank you. And also share with your friends. Like, talk to your friends about it so they don't also make the same mistake, you know? Until I come here where again, keep staying informed, giving me some accolades, like subscribing. <laughs> I love you. Bye. One and action. Why would you even miss my previous episodes? Sorry, did I say episodes? <laughs> Help me! <laughs>